Well, welcome everyone. This truly is an international gathering. Um, I could sure get used to this. This is the third weekend that we've done these retreats and I don't know, I could keep on doing this every weekend. We'll see what happens. Olá, bem-vindo a todos. Eu vou estar a traduzir para português e aqui o Geoff estava a dizer que isto é mesmo um encontro internacional muita gente de diferentes países e que por ele faria este tipo de encontros todos os fins de semana. Beautiful. And here we are at the top of the hour, so I'm going to pass the microphone over to our friends in Camas. Ok, e aqui estão os nossos amigos de Camas e o Geoff vai passar o microfone para todos os nossos amigos, os nossos amigos que estão em Camas. No thumbs. <laughs> Can you hear us now? Can you hear okay. us? There we go. Very nice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Just to show the room. Is that it? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> There you go. He got it back. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to a great weekend. We're going to have a great weekend together. Sejam muito bem-vindos. Nós teremos um maravilhoso final de semana juntos. Be very profound and we'll have music and deep sharings and uh, a movie that we'll all share together. Vai ser muito profundo. Nós teremos muitos compartilhamentos muito profundos, músicas, um filme que nós compartilharemos e assistiremos juntos. And it's my prayer that we'll, everyone will receive the answers to your deepest uh, concerns and questions. So that you feel the connection with God and you feel a momentum of God moving in your life. E você sente o movimento de Deus movendo através da sua vida. So we have new people joining today and some that have been with us for a few weeks. Então nós temos novas pessoas que estão se unindo a nós hoje e outras pessoas que estão aqui há algumas semanas. And we try to spread it around in terms of, uh, of opening up and letting you meet the people here. E nós tentamos espalhar aqui um pouco para que vocês tenham a oportunidade de conhecer as pessoas aqui. So today we thought we would feature the three that are here in the center on the couch. Hoje nós de apresentar para vocês essas três pessoas que estão aqui sentadas no sofá. beautiful. And then After, after they share, then we will open it up to all of you to share a bit about your calling and the prayer. <laughs> yes, it's all goes first. Então, depois que eles três compartilharem, fizerem né, a partilha, nós vamos abrir para que vocês também possam compartilhar algo que esteja surgindo, que vem à tona no coração. Yeah. So this first session is really getting to know each other. Então, essa primeira sessão é, na verdade, para que nós possamos, possamos conhecermos uns aos outros. Yeah. So, we'll open up with a song to welcome everybody here and you can close your eyes if you wish and and just enjoy let this song wash over you então nós vamos começar aqui com uma música então eu recomendo que vocês fechem os seus olhos e deixem que a música te inunde 
The song is called Just Relax. O nome dessa música é Simplesmente Relaxe, Descanse. Just relax, go slow, there's no need to hurry, for there are no monsters chasing you, just be still, and let go, there's no need to worry, and there's nothing that you really need to do and take time to look inside for I can promise you there's nothing about yourself you need to hide take off the mask Let the light shine on your innocent face. You've never done anything wrong. There's nothing scary to protect yourself from. Nightmares are over, you don't need to run. Just open your eyes and see there's nothing to fear. All of your nightmares have long disappeared. Seems a long time ago that you dreamed you'd left home and wandered outside in the cold all alone. You tried to make do with all your substitutes, but they could not erase the pain of forgetting the truth. Well, it's still in your heart, and it's still in your soul. Just take off your heavy armor and let it go. And listen to me while I sing you this song. Your friends are all here, and your nightmares are gone. nothing scary to protect yourself from your nightmares are over you don't need to run when you open your eyes you see there's nothing to fear all of your nightmares have long disappeared Just relax, go slow, there's no need to hurry, for there are no monsters chasing you, right here, and right now, 
you can be at peace. Only love is all around. <laughs> uh. Sweet. What makes it so wonderful is that we're all here just because we want to be together. O que torna isso tão maravilhoso é que nós todos estamos aqui só porque queremos estar juntos. And it's not the past that drew us together. Não foi o passado que nos uniu. If you look for commonalities in our personalities, you wouldn't find that many. Se você buscasse coisas em comum na nossa personalidade, provavelmente você não encontraria muitas. That's the ego's perspective. Oh, wow, 70 strangers. Essa é a perspectiva do ego. Ele fala, uau, 70 pessoas estranhas. But we have been called together for the purpose of healing. Mas nós nos unimos no propósito de cura. And for opening our hearts to God's love. E para abrir os nossos corações para o amor de Deus. So, we were, we are going to open up with uh, hearing from the heart of uh, some of those here and how their journey has, has gone, what brought them here. Então, nós vamos começar com as pessoas aqui que vão contar um pouco da jornada delas, de como elas chegaram até aqui, que vão compartilhar aquilo que está no coração. <laughs> Olá a todos. I'm really grateful for this community and this spiritual path that we all share. Eu sou muito grato a essa comunidade e a esse caminho espiritual que nós todos compartilhamos. And I love how the spirit uses the things in our life that, that we're already attracted to. For me, music was something that I got very interested in and very passionate about when I was in high school. And I practiced for like eight hours a day when I first got my guitar. I remember sitting in my bedroom trying to master the song Stairway to Heaven. And my sister in the room next door would start to bang on the wall. <laughs> Telling me to stop. Minha irmã, que o quarto dela ficava ao lado do meu, ela começava a bater na parede, me pedindo para que eu parasse. She'd say, no more stairway. Ela dizia, não mais escada, né, a tradução da música. But there was something about that song, I felt like I had to master it. Mas havia alguma coisa naquela música que eu tinha a sensação de que eu precisava dominar. And if you read the lyrics to that song, you'll see that it's very, very deep. And 
But I felt like music was something that was just a hobby for me at the time. I never thought I could make a career out of it. Mas para mim a música naquela época eu via mais como um hobby. Eu nunca imaginei que eu pudesse fazer uma carreira com isso. And so when I went to college, I studied engineering. Então quando eu fui para a faculdade eu estudei engenharia. And I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to my music. I, I played a little bit here and there. Eu não dava muita atenção para a minha música. Eu tocava um pouquinho aqui e ali em algumas ocasiões. But when I started getting deeper into A Course in Miracles, and especially when I met David Hoffmeister here, I felt like music was, being, was coming back into my life in a stronger way. Mas assim que eu comecei o meu caminho com o curso em milagres e eu conheci o David Hoffmeister, eu tive a sensação de que a música estava voltando fortemente para a minha vida. That was many years after college, I think about 2008. Isso foi muitos anos depois da faculdade, eu acho que por volta de 2008. And by that time I had graduated with an engineering degree and I had worked as an engineer. E naquela época eu tinha me formado em engenharia e eu já trabalhava, trabalhava como engenheiro. And then I had also changed my career to be a hypnotherapist, which was a big change. <laughs> e eu também tinha mudado a minha carreira e eu era um terapeuta que trabalhava com hipnose, que também era uma grande mudança. And when I met David, I was starting to feel kind of tired of the hypnotherapy career. E quando eu conheci David, eu estava começando a me cansar da minha carreira de terapista, terapeuta hipnótico. I had a house in Austin, Texas. Eu tinha uma casa em Austin, no Texas. I had a lot of, of college loan debts. Eu tinha muitas dívidas de empréstimos para fazer para poder estudar. And a lot of credit card debt. E muita dívida no cartão de crédito. And I, I was really only working as a hypnotherapist at that point to, to stay on top of my debts. E naquele, naquela época eu simplesmente trabalhava como terapeuta hipnótico para conseguir saudar as minhas dívidas. And I felt a calling to, to drop everything. I was reading the course and I felt like I needed to really let go. E eu senti um chamado, eu estava lendo um curso em milagres, eu senti realmente um chamado para realmente deixar essas coisas de lado. And I remember asking David, is it possible to just really let go and do what the course is, is telling me to do? E eu perguntei ao David, é possível realmente simplesmente deixar essas coisas e fazer o que o curso em milagres me pede para fazer? Can I really just focus my full mind's attention on practicing forgiveness? Eu posso realmente colocar toda a atenção da minha mente na prática do perdão? And can I let go of, of doing things that are based on fear? Eu posso realmente deixar de fazer coisas que se baseiam no medo? And David kept saying, yes, you can. <laughs> E David continuava dizendo, sim, você pode. You really can, and the Holy Spirit will take care of all the details for you. Você realmente pode, e o Espírito Santo vai tomar conta de todos os detalhes para você. And so that was in, a year later, in 2009, I took a really big leap of faith. E isso foi mais ou menos em 2009, quando eu dei um grande salto de fé. I basically told my hypnotherapy organization that I was I was quitting. Eu basicamente disse para minha organização de terapia hipnótica que eu estava renunciando ao cargo, deixando. Even though I still had lots of debt. E apesar de eu ainda ter muita dívida. But I felt this really strong tickle in my heart to open up to something new. Mas eu sentia realmente uma coceira, uma, uma coceira no meu coração para realmente começar algo novo. And when I asked David what he thought I should do with my life now that I was going to be quitting the hypnotherapy. E quando eu perguntei ao David o que eu deveria fazer da minha vida agora que eu estava desistindo da terapia hipnótica. 
he went into prayer and he said, I'm hearing the words traveling minstrel. Ele entrou em um estado de oração e ele disse, eu estou ouvindo as palavras. But she doesn't know and it's saying. kind of like traveling musician. Ah, um músico que viaja. Um músico... Like a musician that, that shares healing. Um músico que compartilha cura. And I didn't know what it was either, <laughs> actually. <laughs> E eu também não sabia que I had to look it up on Google to see what the word meant. Eu tive que procurar no Google para saber o que a palavra significava. But I, it planted this, this idea of, of a new life where I could just be free. Mas me plantou essa ideia de uma nova vida em que eu podia simplesmente ser livre. Or I could just go where I felt called to go and stop doing things out of fear of consequences. And I was very afraid at the time as well that I would end up a homeless person. E naquela época eu tinha muito medo que eu fosse me tornar uma pessoa sem teto. I didn't know what kind of life I would have if I if I quit the career of hypnotherapy. Eu não sabia que tipo de vida eu ia ter se eu simplesmente desistisse da minha carreira de terapia hipnótica. And yet for me at that time the feeling in my heart was so strong that I I I felt I could trust that and I trusted David as well. E, no entanto, naquele momento, tinha um sentimento tão forte aqui que eu tinha a sensação de que eu podia confiar em mim mesmo e eu confiava no David também. So I, I did quit the career and many miracles happened right away. Uh, all my debt got paid off in the, la in the two months that I was leaving the career. E, então eu desisti da carreira e muitos milagres aconteceram é, imediatamente. Então, todas as minhas dívidas se acabaram em dois meses depois que eu desisti do meu emprego. And it all happened in a way that I couldn't have expected. E isso tudo aconteceu de uma maneira que eu não podia esperar. It was almost, it was as if the universe was just waiting for me to take that leap of faith. And then all the means of handling the debt were there already. É quase como se o universo estivesse simplesmente esperando, aguardando que eu desse esse salto de fé. E aí, então, todos os meios para lidar com a situação é, simplesmente já estavam ali. But I first had to, to take the leap. Mas eu primeiramente tive que dar esse salto. And, yeah, since then, I feel like my life has just been very unique and... Um, Miraculous. E desde aquele momento eu sinto que a minha vida tem sido muito única e milagrosa. I uh, was guided to get married about six months after that happened. Eu fui guiado a me casar por volta de seis meses depois que aquilo aconteceu. And that was that was quite unexpected. <laughs> aquilo foi muito inesperado. I got to travel all over Europe. Eu viajei por toda a Europa. And I, I basically got to just share my music from my heart and nothing, nothing more. E eu simplesmente compartilhava a minha música do meu coração e nada mais. So I, I really recommend following your heart. <laughs> <laughs> então, eu realmente recomendo seguir o seu coração. <laughs> I feel like I feel like following our heart always requires us to face our fears. E eu sinto que para seguir o nosso coração é sempre necessário que nós encaremos os nossos medos. But it's it's always worth it. Mas sempre vale muito a pena. And I could probably tell you more stories, but I think I'll I'll leave it for now that that's that's the main lesson I've learned. Eu acredito que eu possa contar muitas histórias, mas nesse momento 
Eu acho que essa é uma grande lição que eu aprendi. So I'll pass the mic over to Svava here. Thank you. Eu vou passar o microfone para a Svava aqui. Muito obrigada. Thank you, Eric. It's beautiful. Muito I didn't even know. <laughs> Muito obrigada, Eric. É maravilhoso. Eu também sabia da sua Oh, I'm so, so grateful to be here. I'm almost this, yeah, crying now. Um, yeah. I, it's funny, I woke up this morning and, and I felt so quiet. Yeah, and usually I am not... Yeah, speaking at all <laughs> at <laughs> gatherings. This is basically the first time I'm sitting here with my mic. Yeah, the last few weekends I've been singing with Eric. Yeah. And I could feel there was something different coming in this morning. And then we had a meeting and yeah, and it was so clearly guided that I would speak today and share some parables. Hmm. Yeah, the course came into my life actually exactly two years ago. Yeah, I had been praying and on my knees and praying for something to save me. Eu estava orando de joelhos e pedindo para que algo viesse para me salvar. I had had a life with uh, a lot of seemingly difficulties with depressions and mental illness. Uh, I tried everything I could to fit into the world. I have uh, studied a lot of things and several educations. And in my late 20s, I started studying um, spiritual pathways and taking a lot of classes. But uh, nothing really worked for for so long. I always went down to deep depressions. Mas nunca funcionou por muito tempo. Eu sempre voltava para depressões muito profundas. And uh, I got all tangled in the system. I was living in Denmark at that point. I had been there for many years. E eu fiquei muito amarrada ao sistema. Naquela época eu morava na Dinamarca. And uh, in the system, it's um, when you not when you don't work in the world, they give you medications, so you will work in the world. No system, when you don't work in the world, they give you medications so that you function and be operational in the world. So I was eating a lot of crap. Yeah. I was eating a lot of crap. Yeah. Well, I was on my knees and um, watching videos, and suddenly I saw someone talking about the Course in Miracles. And I felt this huge sparkling in my heart, and I could just feel that this was it. This was my answer. E eu senti esse grande brilho aqui no meu coração e aí eu sabia que era isso. Essa era a resposta. Yeah, so um, I got the book in Danish. I was living in Denmark and spoke Danish. 
Então, eu comprei o livro em dinamarquês, eu morava na Dinamarca e falava dinamarquês. And the first time I opened the book, uh, Jesus spoke to me. Na primeira vez que eu abri o livro, Jesus falou comigo. And said to me that I should study the course in English. <laughs> and I don't know why, I was just very willing because it felt like it was my last chance. So I went out and bought the book in English. And uh, I remember it took Yeah, it took me so long time to just read one page because I had to look so many words up on Google. Eu me lembro que eu demorava muito tempo para ler apenas uma página porque eu tinha que buscar tantas palavras no Google. Yeah, and I felt that I misunderstood everything, so I got a lot of healing of just misunderstanding the book. Então eu tinha a sensação de que eu não estava compreendendo as coisas direito. Então eu recebi muita cura simplesmente desses mal entendidos do livro. Yeah, and um, and Jesus started speaking to me and guiding me to, um, for example, unwind from all the medication. E Jesus começou a falar comigo e a me dar orientações, por exemplo, para que eu me livrasse da do medicamento. I heard very clearly. This you can let go, and this let go, but this you have to unwind from and go slow. Então eu via muito claramente, isso você pode deixar de lado, isso você pode abandonar isso, mas isso você precisa ir devagar para realmente se desvincular vagarosamente. Yeah, so it took me five months to unwind from everything. Então eu levei cinco meses para me desvincular de tudo. And uh, one day I was just totally down on my knees and crying and I prayed for Jesus to show me what to do if I should go in the world and try again to work and fit there or if there was something else. Um dia eu estava realmente de joelhos e chorando e eu pedi para que Jesus me mostrasse o que eu deveria fazer. Eu deveria voltar ao mundo e tentar, tentar novamente ou alguma outra coisa. Yeah, and actually already the next day I was on uh, online and suddenly this retreat with David and a uh, few others from the community were having a retreat in Holland. E aí um dia eu estava navegando na internet e eu vi que haveria um retiro do David e algumas outras pessoas na Holanda. Yeah, and I I could just feel that that I was I was going to be there. It was so clear to me that this was my next step. E eu pude sentir que eu estaria lá. Estava muito claro para mim que esse seria o meu próximo passo. But I was very afraid because at that point I had never traveled on my own and I didn't know anyone who was studying the course really or yeah so it was it was huge for me mas eu estava com muito medo porque naquela época eu nunca tinha viajado sozinha eu não conhecia ninguém que estudava o curso então para mim foi enorme naquela época so i signed up for it and uh, i was in a lot of fear so uh, shortly after i tried to cancel it <laughs> Então eu me inscrevi para o retiro, mas eu estava com tanto medo que logo depois disso eu tentei cancelar a minha inscrição. Yeah, but I never got any response from my cancellation. <laughs> mas eu nunca recebi uma resposta à minha tentativa de cancelamento. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I was just surrendering to that that was my next step. Então, eu simplesmente me entreguei e disse que aquele seria o meu próximo passo. And then suddenly um, Jenny and Francis came to Denmark for a weekend retreat. E aí, de repente, Jenny e a Francis foram para a Dinamarca para um retiro de final de semana. 
Yeah, and it was so beautiful and just Jesus making it easier for me to to step and just jump into this and going to Holland. Então foi tão maravilhoso, foi tão bonito, então Jesus me ajudou a tomar esse próximo passo de ir para a Holanda. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the trip to Holland was a huge healing for me. Uma viagem para a Holanda foi uma grande cura para mim. Because I had never traveled on my own and I was in so much fear about how things were going to work and everything. So I had made a plan where to go, which trains to take and what platform. Porque eu tinha muito medo, eu nunca tinha viajado sozinha, então eu estava tentando fazer alguns planos de que trens pegar, em qual plataforma. Yeah, and um, on the plane to Holland, um, but before I went on the plane, it was uh, it was delayed, so uh, my plan didn't work anymore. Então o meu voo estava atrasado, então o meu plano já não funcionava mais. So uh, on the plane, I was in so much fear of what to do. Então no avião eu tinha tanto medo daquilo que sobre aquilo que eu deveria fazer. So I prayed and prayed and prayed to Jesus to to help me and guide me and and show me the way. Então eu orei e orei para Jesus para que ele me ajudasse e me orientasse e me mostrasse o caminho. And as the plane was landing, suddenly my fear just flipped over and I got so excited about coming to Holland. <laughs> e quando o avião estava pousando, de repente, o meu medo se inverteu e eu fiquei muito animada, muito empolgada de estar indo para a Holanda. Yeah, normally I was so shy and uh, didn't speak really to people, but with this excitement I started speaking to people on the plane and asking them for guidance where where how I could get to this place. E eu era muito tímida, eu mal falava com as pessoas, mas nesse sentimento de excitação, de animação, eu comecei a falar com as pessoas e pedir algum tipo de orientação, em como eu poderia me locomover no lugar. And everyone just reflected my excitement and my just, yeah, my presence, my just love for everyone. So everyone was so helpful and... And even one guy, his parents lived in that place where I was going. <laughs> so the whole way, I had just angels helping me to buy tickets and where to go and which train and bus and yeah everything was just so beautifully provided. Então durante todo o percurso, durante todo o caminho, eu tinha muitos pequenos anjos que me ajudavam a comprar os, os bilhetes, com os trens, com todo o transporte, estava sempre me ajudando. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been so excited in my life actually. Yeah. <laughs> Eu acredito que aquela foi a vez em que eu estive mais animada na minha vida. So, in the middle of nowhere, I got off the bus and it was dark, it was evening. No meio do nada, eu desci do ônibus, estava escuro, era noite. And I was standing on the street and I asked Jesus, what now? <laughs> eu estava ali de pé na rua e eu perguntei para Jesus, e agora? And I heard these clear instructions, turn around and go to the house behind you and knock on the door. <laughs> yeah, so I did that and um, an elderly couple opened the door. And they didn't speak English. Eles não falavam inglês. So I was trying to explain everything, like with my hands, and then I had an address. Então eu tentei explicar tudo com as minhas mãos e eu tinha um endereço. 
and they were just so loving and helpful and uh, the man draw a map for me how to get there and he even walked with me half of the way to the retreat center and when I came inside, I, there were eight people sitting at the cafeteria and I just put my arms in the air and I said, I made it! <laughs> <laughs> E quando eu cheguei lá, eu, eu dei de cara com oito pessoas ali na, na cafeteria e eu simplesmente levantei os meus braços e disse, eu consegui. Yeah, this was the beginning of a whole new life. <laughs> e aquele foi o começo de uma vida completamente diferente. Because I was actually, uh, I was living in an apartment in Denmark and I was a single mom. Porque eu estava vivendo num apartamento na Dinamarca e eu era uma mãe solteira. At that point, my sons were 14, twin boys, 14 years old. Naquela época, os meus filhos, que são gêmeos, tinham 14 anos. But I had been feeling that, uh, that my life was going to change and I had been feeling for a while that my role as a mother was finished, that I had done my job. <laughs> Eu, eu sentia naquela época que a minha vida estava mudando e eu sentia que o meu papel de, de mãe já havia terminado. And I, I had been hearing like your job is it's well done. I felt like at peace with it. It was it was very beautiful. E na verdade eu tinha um sentimento de paz com aquilo. Eu vi uma voz que me dizia você fez bem o seu trabalho. Yeah, and when I came back from Holland, I, I could just feel so strongly that I was going to leave everything behind. And I was praying to Jesus to just show me and make it obvious for me because I was, I was saying, how can I just leave? How can I just leave the boys? E eu pedia para que Jesus simplesmente me mostrasse e tornasse isso muito claro para mim, porque eu perguntava para mim mesma, como eu posso, simplesmente posso partir e deixar os meninos? And then one evening I was blowing out candles in my living room. E numa noite eu estava apagando as velas e soprando na minha sala de estar. And one of the candles were, was up on, on a shelf. E uma das velas estava assim em uma prateleira. And uh, it suddenly just slipped out of my hand when I was blowing it out. E de repente ela escorregou da minha mão quando eu estava apagando. And the wax ran over a photo that was on the wall. E a cera escorreu uh, sobre uma imagem que estava na parede. And Yeah, and it was a photo of me in the middle and my boys next to me. And the wax just ran over me and deleted me out of the photo. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I was just, first, just shocked. And then I heard Jesus say, how does this feel? <laughs> and I looked at the photo and I felt so much peace and so much love. It was incredible, yeah. E eu olhei para aquela foto e eu sentia tanta paz e tanto amor que foi incrível. Yeah, and everything after that just went so smoothly. It was like everything was just arranged by Jesus, so it was easy for me to take this leap of faith. 
E a partir daquele momento, tudo transcorreu de maneira tão tranquila. Então, é, eu vi que, que Jesus estava me preparando para dar aquele salto de fé. Yeah. I had two, I even had two cats and I didn't even have to ask anyone. My parents came and said, we will take the cats. Eu tinha dois gatos e eu nem mesmo tive que perguntar para ninguém. Meus pais simplesmente vieram e falaram, nós vamos ficar com os gatos. Yeah, and uh, the boys wanted to go live with my ex. E os meus filhos quiseram morar com o meu ex-marido. And the apartment I was living in, I was renting from my parents. E o apartamento em que eu morava, eu alugava dos meus pais. And they wanted to sell the apartment. Eles queriam vender o apartamento. So suddenly everything was just gone. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> so I just started giving my things away and yeah, letting it all go. Yeah. People that needed a television or a bike, they got it from me. <laughs> yeah, everyone was just happy. <laughs> so in December 2016, a little bit more than a year ago, Yeah, I uh, went to uh, to Mexico with one suitcase, and that's all I have. Yeah, and it's been an amazing journey. <laughs> yeah, because when I just think about if I had known anything of it, this, I would just say, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Porque quando eu penso a respeito disso, se eu tivesse sequer imaginado, eu diria não. Isso não é possível. Não poderia acontecer. Yeah, I, I was born in Iceland and I had in, I had never imagined traveling or going anywhere. Eu nasci na Islândia, eu nunca poderia ter imaginado viajar ou ir para qualquer lugar. Yeah, I just I just had this deep deep calling in my heart to uh, to awaken, to remember who I am, to remember God and Yeah, this is all I'm longing for. Então eu tinha esse chamado muito profundo no meu coração para despertar, para me lembrar de quem eu sou, para me lembrar de Deus. Uh, e é isso que eu busco, é isso que eu anseio. Yeah, and maybe I should share too that when when I was on my knees and uh, praying to Jesus to show me the way, I started receiving songs. Yeah, and I've been very resistant about it because I, that was really not what I had imagined doing in my life, singing and writing songs. But that has been a huge surrender for me to just letting go and a lot of healing around it to, to let songs just come through and, and sing in public. So that has been my... Um, my yeah huge focus on since i came to the community to let go of judgments about myself around that então isso para mim tem sido uma grande entrega simplesmente me entregar e deixar que as músicas venham até mim yeah Yeah, maybe I should say I have this beautiful loving relationship with my with my sons now it's much more pure and open than it was before because I have no 
expectations anymore. Então eu devo dizer que hoje em dia eu tenho um relacionamento muito mais puro e amoroso com as minhas filhas agora, muito melhor do que antes, porque eu não tenho tantas expectativas como eu tinha antes. Yeah. So we have beautiful talks on Skype sometimes. <laughs> então nós temos conversas maravilhosas no Skype algumas vezes. Well, it feels like I've been talking for a long time now. <laughs> I've never spoken so much. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm so excited about this, seeing all your happy faces and see what happens. Yeah. Thank you. Muito obrigada, sou muito feliz aqui por estar compartilhando isso e vendo todos os seus rostos felizes. Muito obrigada. Vamos ver o que tem mais aí para pela frente. Ok, eu vou dar o mic para a Sarah. Então, vamos pegar o microfone da Sarah. Hi, meu nome é Sarah e não sei onde começar com essa história. Meu nome é Sarah e eu, na verdade, eu não tenho certeza de como começar uma história. Um, I've lived in community for over nine years at this stage and you start to not think of yourself very much. Eu vivo em comunidade há nove anos agora e você começa a não pensar muito em você. But I think what remains of the story is the desire from very young to be very good. Mas eu, o que eu acredito que permanece dessa história é um desejo de ser muito boa desde uma idade muito tenra. And I was raised in Ireland, raised a Catholic, like many of you were raised. Então eu cresci na Irlanda, eu cresci como na, na cristandade, como muitos de vocês também. And within my home, and within my school, and within my town, and where I grew up, I figured out what the rules were, learned them, and played by them. Na minha escola, na minha comunidade, na minha cidade, eu aprendi a viver de acordo com as regras do local. Eu aprendi as regras e vivia de acordo com elas. I did it with a very pure heart, because if this was what was good, I was going to give it my best. Eu fiz isso com uma pureza muito grande de coração, porque se aquilo era o que era necessário, então eu faria o meu melhor para isso. The thing was, it was never good enough. E o problema é que nunca era bom o suficiente. And so, like everyone else, I tried to self-improve. Então, assim como todas as outras pessoas, eu tentei me melhorar. Long before even self-improvement was that popular. <laughs> Muito antes de que essa questão de alto aperfeiçoamento começou a se tornar popular. When I was 10, I gave myself mind training exercises. <laughs> Quando eu tinha 10 anos, eu costumava fazer exercícios de treinamento da mente. I was very disciplined, I would tidy my room, I would be kind to my brothers and sisters. Eu era muito disciplinada, eu costumava arrumar o meu quarto, eu era muito gentil com os meus irmãos e irmãs. I had my own job, my own paycheck. And my mom would borrow money off me at the end of the week if she didn't have enough. <laughs> Let's just say I misunderstood my role as a child. <laughs> So I seem to have come into this life with this very big plan and mission in my mind that I was already failing at by age 10. Então, parecia que eu tinha esse, eu vim para o mundo com esse pensamento na minha mente de que eu já tinha falhado na idade de 10 anos. And so by age 15 I was utterly depressed. Então, aos 15 anos eu estava profundamente deprimida. But of course trying harder. Mas, obviamente, tentando cada vez mais, com mais ênfase. So, eventually the Spirit said, we've got to give this one a break. Então, eventualmente, o Espírito disse, bom, eu tenho que dar uma pausa para essa pessoa. 
she's trying so hard to be good all all the time and she's terrified of making mistakes ela está tentando tão arduamente ser uma pessoa boa e ela tem muito medo de cometer erros. So the spirit made me an actress so I could pretend to be other people who I wasn't afraid to make mistakes for. Então o espírito me tornou uma atriz onde para mim era possível que eu cometesse erros, agir como outras pessoas onde eu pudesse cometer erros e eu não tinha medo disso. And the first time I held hands with a boy pretending I was on a date was in a commercial. E a primeira vez que eu segurei a mão de um outro menino, fingindo que eu estava num ponto, foi num comercial. And the first time I kissed a man, he was tied to a cross on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> e a primeira vez que eu beijei um homem, ele estava preso a uma a uma cruz num palco. And basically, I I've been witnessing to a play of all I've been afraid of being worked out by the spirit in the most gentle ways. Então, basicamente, eu via todo o meu medo sendo representado uh, muito gentilmente pelo Espírito. And so if I wasn't Sarah, it wasn't my fault, whatever the character did. Então, se não era Sarah, então não era minha culpa, independentemente daquilo que o personagem fizesse. And so I could expand every day into a different region of my mind, into a different way of being and a different person. Então eu podia me expandir em um lugar diferente da minha mente, expandir sendo uma pessoa diferente. And it had a very profound effect on my mind. E tinha um efeito muito profundo na minha mente. Because I realized it was arbitrary to decide to go back to being Sarah at the end of the day. Porque eu percebia que era arbitrário tentar voltar a ser a Sarah no final do dia. And when I was 12, when I made my confirmation, quando eu tinha 12 anos e fiz a minha crise, I, I began to get very excited about having the Holy Spirit and getting the chrism on my forehead. Eu comecei a ficar muito animada por é, receber a confirmação, é, receber o Espírito Santo e ter a crise na minha testa. I had been just so inspired by the idea of the, 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 tongue, the tongues of fire coming down on the apostles when they got the Holy Spirit. And rushing out fearless to just share the good news. That when I went to see a play of people who came from America, então eu fui ver uma peça de teatro de pessoas que vieram da América. That my aunt, who was a nun, had brought me to. E a minha tia, que era uma freira, tinha me levado. My mind went soaring because they were doing a play, but they were all full of the Spirit. Então a minha mente estava a ponto de explodir, porque eles estavam representando uma peça, mas eles estavam, tinham um Espírito muito presente. And afterwards, I said to my mom and my dad, I said, that's it, that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do. So, I, everyone thought that meant I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> But it was the passion in their hearts to extend the message of Christ that had called me. De compartilhar a mensagem de Cristo que me chamou naquele momento. But I had no context for that, being young. Mas eu não tinha nenhum contexto para aquilo na idade, naquela idade. And so, when I finally got to make my confirmation, and this was like a well-kept secret, my excitement. Então, quando eu finalmente recebi a minha, a minha crisma, aquilo era um segredo muito bem guardado. I had to choose a sponsor and I chose my aunt because she really believed in the religion. And no one in my family did. And I understood that this was a very important moment in my life. And that I needed someone's hand on my shoulder who believed. Eu precisava da mão de alguém no meu ombro que acreditava. 
And when, when the bishop put the chrism on my forehead, I had a very deep and profound experience. And for me, that's when I feel I got my calling. It just took a lot of time and a lot of years later becoming comfortable with that because it was so unpopular socially in, in Ireland to be religious at all. So, so back to the stepping stone of being an actor. I started to discover I was really good at improv. And I would just begin a scene and all these words would come. And so I became more and more comfortable of not knowing anything and just letting words come. And being put in any situation and words coming to suit. And, and meanwhile, I was maxed out with the healing of working as an actor um, in traditional film. Because when I would get on a film set, I couldn't remember my lines. And years later, the spirit told me, it's like, only because I, only I can speak through you now. Yeah, so we just, we just really feel to open it up to any of you just to share your heart, really your prayer for, the, for this weekend and what the call of your heart is. So really just to keep it like sincere and sweet and to the point and just open your heart and, and tell us what's important to you this weekend so that um, it can be answered. Então, nós sentimos agora de abrir esse momento para que você possa compartilhar seja, o que quer que esteja no seu coração, qual o seu chamado, qual o chamado do seu coração, que você compartilhe simplesmente o que está no seu coração. Ok, well, Henrietta has something on her heart that she'd like to share. Go ahead, Henrietta. Hi, uh, can you hear me ok? Yeah. 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 Uh, I have a question and uh, I've been wanting to ask this since the first few weeks ago. I haven't been, I hadn't had a chance, but what, I just wanted to ask David. Ela tem uma pergunta que ela já quer fazer desde o primeiro retiro que ela participou e ela gostaria de perguntar ao David. What is my responsibility in undoing the egoic beliefs Qual a minha responsabilidade em desfazer das crenças egóicas? Is it something that I'm responsible for entirely? I mean, with the spirit, Spirit's help, of course. Essa é, essa é algo que é totalmente da minha responsabilidade, obviamente com a ajuda do Espírito. Or is it just my giving my full willingness to the Holy Spirit to have Him do it for me? Ou é simplesmente entregar toda a minha disponibilidade para que o Espírito faça isso por mim. I, I'm just so willing to get rid of the, or undo the belief in the ego itself. Eu estou simplesmente muito disposta para realmente desfazer a crença no ego em si. Which seems to me the, the whole... Um, Egoic world is that belief in there that there is really an ego. E para mim faz parecer que um, toda essa crença do ego é realmente a crença no, no ego em si. So I just need some clarity on how to undo that belief. Eu simplesmente preciso de clareza em como desfazer essa crença. Thank you. 
Thank you, Henrietta. We all feel your prayer. Muito obrigada, Henrietta. Nós todos sentimos a sua oração. And you are correct that at first your responsibility is to be willing to be unwound from the ego. E você está correta quando você diz que a sua responsabilidade é estar disponível, ter a disponibilidade para ser desvinculada da crença. And eventually, as this goes even deeper, then your final responsibility will be to accept the correction. E conforme isso vai se aprofundando, a sua responsabilidade final é aceitar a correção. But if we come back to the beginning, to the willingness. Mas se nós voltarmos ao início, à disponibilidade. It is a willingness to surrender to guidance and nudges and prompts from the Holy Spirit. É a disponibilidade para se entregar aos sinais, às mensagens, às cutucões do Espírito Santo. But also to a willingness to not let your past learning um, influence or direct your decisions. Mas também é uma disponibilidade para não deixar que o seu aprendizado passado influence, influencie ou comprometa as suas decisões. So, it's, it's very humbling to say my past learning uh, never helped me escape from guilt. Então é muito humilde dizer que o seu aprendizado passado nunca te ajudou a escapar da culpa. So I need to open to a new direction. Então eu devo me abrir para uma nova direção. But the Holy Spirit will not rip or tear anything away from you. Mas o Espírito Santo não irá arrancar ou tirar qualquer coisa de você. The Holy Spirit will use what the ego made to lighten your mind. O Espírito Santo vai usar qualquer coisa que o ego tenha feito para iluminar a sua mente. And the awakening will come in stages and steps. E o despertar virá em estágios e em passos. And so you don't have to figure out the future of, of how it will look in the future. Então você não precisa tentar descobrir como será o futuro. You just have to keep the fire and the determination in your heart very strong. Você simplesmente precisa manter o fogo e a determinação no seu coração muito fortemente. And as we've heard from uh, the three here, uh, they were, were given steps uh, that they really didn't anticipate. E como nós ouvimos das três pessoas que compartilharam aqui, elas estavam dando passos, mas elas não, não previam nada. Isso é yeah. That's the value that we all heard today from their message. É o valor que todos nós ouvimos hoje das, da mensagem deles. But they, they all were very willing. Mas todos eles tinham muita disponibilidade. And spirituality is not about memorizing concepts or repeating uh, affirmations. E a espiritualidade não se trata de memorizar conceitos e repetir algumas afirmações. It's about feeling this calling or passion in your heart and saying, yes, I'll do whatever it takes. Trata-se de ouvir esse chamado, essa paixão no seu coração e dizer, sim, vou fazer independente de qualquer coisa. Yeah. And we all, we all know your, your dedication, Henrietta. E todos nós conhecemos a sua dedicação, Henrietta. You know, you coming over and spending that time with us in the monastery and here at Camus uh, was, was very uh, representative of, of your uh, dedication. Quando você veio aqui na nossa comunidade, veio aqui em Camus, isso foi muito, demonstrou a sua dedicação. Yeah. And I just saw you on uh, Facebook, I think it was yesterday, uh, uh, commenting on our friend Francis Allen. She was with a photo with Lisa 
and you said, uh, that's how I look. Uh, she, and she's uh, down there with us in Mexico. And Frances, uh, I met her in, in Texas uh, when I was giving a talk in Wimberley many years ago. And uh, she just packed up her whole life and uh, moved out here to a canyon in Utah. And she was in her late 70s when she did that. She just like Suava, she just left her whole, her whole life behind in her late 70s. <laughs> and she had all the, the ego things that everyone deals with, the fears and doubts, food, preferences, uh, lots of issues going on. But when we uh, moved to Mexico, was it about five, four or five years ago, she said, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so you, she's another example of this willingness to just follow and take the steps. So you have a twin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, like a gift from Jesus, saying, here, she looks just like you, and you can do it too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the next person on the list is Esther. Let me see if I can find Esther here. There she is. Go ahead, Esther. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, <here we> go. <laughs> Quick question, how are you? <laughs> um, I tend to live in the past and search um, the past for answers still. And so my prayer is to give me the courage not to touch the past, Holy Spirit, to use memory to remember um, the present. Okay, so she says that she wants a lot of answers in the past. E ela pede a ajuda do Espírito para que ela não tenha mais essa busca no passado e para que a busca dela seja agora no presente. Ok, thank you, Esther. Thanks. Hmm. That was her prayer. Joe, it's your turn. Go ahead. All right. Um, Hi, Joe. I just wanted to, uh, hey, everybody. Like, I got lots of questions, but right now, um, just wanted to see if I could join in a miracle of healing. I have like uh, some sort of sickiness going on. Um, that's, you know, I got other things I'd like to discuss, but uh, I got a throaty thing and a flu y kind of thing going on. So <laughs> just throwing that out there as my prayer is, uh, you know, I want to experience a miracle around that. Thank you. Ele disse que talvez tivesse muitas perguntas, mas o momento que está surgindo, que está vindo, é para ter um momento milagroso de cura para a doença. E next is Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Hi, all. Hi, Zach. Um, yeah, I just really feel to. Uh, to ask for guidance and healing around, um, you know, ever since I started hearing the voice about a month ago, you know, at first it was a wild ride and uh, I could really feel the joy. 
And, uh, you know, it was fine as long as the voice was asking for me to choose tea instead of coffee or, uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> all this good stuff. But, you know, like this week, Spirit's like, well, maybe you should just not show up to your job. And we we'll let all... her translate one sex act. Oh, yeah. Ele está pedindo algum tipo de orientação e cura com relação à voz que ele ouve. Ele disse que no começo. É, tava tudo bem quando ele recebia orientações do espírito para que fosse chá ao invés de café e tava tudo bem, mas agora essa semana ele começou a ouvir vozes do tipo ah, eu acho que você simplesmente não deveria ir trabalhar hoje. Yeah, so, you know, hearing you should just not go in and give personal reasons and it'll all be fine. Um, <laughs> and just just sort of the praying for the willingness to stay with this even though i don't know how it's going to look então agora eu ouço essa orientação do espírito que me diz você simplesmente pode não comparecer ao trabalho e alegar uh, motivos pessoais então agora eu peço essa disponibilidade para que eu fique com isso para que eu permaneça com isso Yeah, I think um, hearing these things that more directly seem like they attack my belief system, um, it, uh, it can result in a lot of body thoughts and depression. And I just want to pray to, to be able to be willing for the spirit to break something that is said down into steps that I can follow. So that, yeah. Então, eu tenho a sensação de que instruções como essa, elas atacam diretamente o sistema de crença. Então, eu queria uma é, orientação com relação ao espírito para que eu mantenha essa disponibilidade, para que ele fragmente isso em pequenos passos que eu consiga dar. Because I really don't feel like wasting time anymore. <laughs> That's it. Join you in that prayer. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Yeah. And next on the list is um, Charlotte de Mont. Go ahead, Charlotte. Um, can you hear me? Yep. Yes, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be with you. I'm so happy to be with you. Yeah. My question is, um, I heard you all um, speaking about Jesus talking to you. My question is, I heard you all speaking about Jesus talking to you. And I wonder, for me, it is more like a joy in my mind or pictures or ideas. It doesn't seem to be a voice. E quando eu penso nisso, para mim, são mais ideias, imagens, um pensamento na minha mente. Para mim, não tem a sensação de ser uma voz. Do I miss something here? Estou, tem algo que eu não tenho compreendido, que eu não estou compreendendo? No, you, you haven't missed anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> the spirit can can reach through you through through pictures, through feelings, little emotional nudges. O espírito pode compartilhar com você através de sentimentos, imagens, alguns uh, sentimentos que incomodam aqui. The spirit uh, can also speak to you through other people that you come into contact with. O Espírito pode, inclusive, falar com você através de outras pessoas com quem você entra em contato. And all different types of signs and symbols and things that are on the internet. E todos os tipos de sinais e símbolos ou coisas que estejam na internet. 
So all you do is stay tuned in to what really resonates in your heart. Então simplesmente esteja conectado com aquilo que realmente ressoa no seu coração. In the Course in Miracles, Jesus says it's it's rare, very few people can hear the voice for God directly. No Course in Miracles, Jesus diz que é muito raro que muito poucas pessoas conseguem ouvir essa voz diretamente. But he still asks us to, to practice and to do the best that we can. Mas ele ainda nos pede para praticar e para fazer o melhor que, po que possamos. And just keep moving in the direction of the light. E simplesmente continuar nos movendo na direção da luz. And coming clear to a sense of purpose and function. E realmente ter clareza com um, um senso de propósito e função. So, the guidance can come in, in many different ways. Então, a orientação pode chegar de maneiras distintas. But the most important thing is like Eric's song, just to, to relax. Mas o mais importante é como a música do Eric, simplesmente relaxar. And let go. <laughs> yeah. And, and start to enjoy. Enjoy the spiritual journey. E comece a desfrutar essa, dessa jornada espiritual. Because it's only the ego that tries to trick you into comparing yourself to other people. Porque é só o ego que tenta te enganar e faz com que você tente comparar a si mesmo com outras pessoas. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it brought me to you, so I, I'll trust it. I, I go on. Yeah, uh, lovely. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, on the beach. <laughs> Very nice. And next is Carly. Go ahead, Carly. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. Um, yeah, I just feel like um, I keep having a very big opening in my heart, in my mind. Eu sinto que eu tenho uma grande abertura no meu coração e na minha mente. And just in the last few days, I um, was shown some areas where I can come into a greater integrity. E nos últimos dias eu me foi mostrado uma área onde eu posso chegar a uma integração, integridade maior. So this feels like my prayer for support to come into this integrity. Então parece ser sim, meu par para chegar a essa ajuda dessa integridade. Because I feel like this is um, very, very strong call of the Spirit, and I must follow it. <laughs> and a lot of the time now I'm feeling excited and happy. Então, grande parte do tempo agora eu me sinto muito animada e feliz. But I also have a lot of um, future thoughts that come in about what it's going to look like or what might happen. Mas eu também tenho pensamentos futuros de como isso vai ser e como isso pode acontecer. So all of my future thoughts and any worries I would like to give to the spirit. Então, qualquer tipo de pensamento futuro ou preocupação eu gostaria de entregar ao espírito. And I just feel like I found my voice in my heart and it's the most tender place. Então, eu sinto que eu simplesmente encontrei a minha voz no meu coração e é o lugar mais terno. And I feel like joining with everyone here has given me this gift. Eu sinto que o fato de estar unido a todos aqui me deu essa dádiva. Obrigada. Yeah.
yourself entirely. Thank you. <laughs> and next is AC Anna Carroll. Hey, Anna Carroll. Mm. Hello, AC. <laughs> so, so connected. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to to come into this beingness that instead of being a human doing, uh, it's. I can just bursting with love most of the time. And começando a chegar nesse sentimento, em vez de ser um ser humano fazendo coisas nesse estado de ser. Sinto esse amor espiritual. And I'm so grateful for the course now. Eu sou tão grata ao curso agora. Just turning myself over to it completely like I haven't done before. Simplesmente me entregando a ele completamente como eu nunca fiz antes. And the awareness is coming of how upside down my interpretations and my thinking has been my whole life. Minha consciência é muito presente que me vindo de quão invertido estava todo o meu pensamento e todas as minhas interpretações durante toda a minha vida. And so all of the, I guess, what my intention is today is to allow everything to be as it is and be very present and open. Então eu acredito que a minha oração para hoje é simplesmente permitir para que tudo seja como é e estar presente. And not be afraid to share, speak up. E não ter medo de compartilhar ou falar alguma coisa. And I, I have this desire to connect with all of you in a new way. E tenho esse desejo de me conectar a todos vocês de uma nova maneira. And, uh, and be part of a virtual support group. I don't know what you want to call it. But a virtual. Let's let's share and support each other in seeing the Christ and in living in total mm. presence. So I would I don't know how that's going to look or how it's going to happen, but uh, I just want to be really with you, with the truth of who we are, and and sharing that. And support you in experiencing the truth that we are, that love that we are. Então, eu gostaria de fazer parte de um grupo de suporte virtual. Não sei como isso funcionaria, mas simplesmente para compartilhar o amor que nós somos, a verdade que nós somos. And thank you, David, for your reading of the course and the the lessons. Uh -huh. You're very welcome. It's, I can't tell you how the course is so miraculous to me now in just listening to it instead of trying to read it and understand it. I love you all. Thank you. Oh, you. Okay, and next on the list is Julie Bergeron. Go ahead, Julie. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Julie. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm already in tears, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but um, I'm, I'm very uh, honored to be part of uh, this weekend. Mm. <laughs> um, it's, it's the first time that I am joining you, um, <laughs> I guess, in this form. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I've been um, working with the Course in Miracles um, for a few months, but it's been, I've, I've started the Course 20 years ago and stopped, and then I just started uh, two, three months ago. Eu comecei o curso há 20 anos atrás e parei e agora eu recomecei o estudo há dois, três meses atrás. And listening to uh, to David uh, on on YouTube uh, every morning with my lesson. And I thank you for that. I'm very grateful. Obrigado, <laughs> David. Todas as manhãs com a, a minha lição. Muito obrigada por isso. It's interesting because uh, there's a something quite um, interesting happening today. There's a lot happening today for me, and uh, and right now I'm um, <laughs> supposed to call to to make a. I, I was supposed to to have this call at its. Um, um, it's 12:30 here, noon, noon and a half <laughs> in Canada right now in Vancouver. So I had a, a business call, very important, and my business is going down, and everything is going down right now, and I'm I'm, I'm very scared. <laughs> and but <laughs> I just decided to. Um, Relax, focus, and let go, and be with you. So, so relax, focus, and let go is a message that I got a few years back that I'm still using. And I, it's not Jesus, I, well, it's not the face Jesus, but I got it from, I guess, uh, some, I don't know what, but it came to me. And I know it's not, it's not, I, did, I didn't create that, but it's been my inspiration. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm uh, I'm a, I guess I'm overwhelmed by uh, love and, uh, and and they say love is letting go of fear, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I, just, I pause, just, just pause for know. one moment. Just pause for one moment, Julie, and, and let Juliana catch up with the translation. I was taking notes this time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, uh, então ela disse que há dois anos atrás ela recebeu de maneira muito forte isso de Jesus e isso veio. Então ela tem certeza que isso não foi algo que ela criou e que veio numa espécie de inspiração, mas ao mesmo tempo ela tem um sentimento muito forte de medo e ela tem a sensação de que ela está sendo tomada pelo amor e ela entende que Escolher o amor a deixar o medo. Um, I um, I'm very excited um, to um, to have that weekend, and I feel that I'm in, in the right place at the right time. <laughs> um, um, and I'm not sure if I have a question. I if I. I, I I just I guess I, I want to uh, to ask David if I <laughs> if I uh, what uh, what what's my call where I uh, I mix I have mixed messages and feeling where what's my next step okay 
Então, é, ela está muito animada para esse final de semana e ela tem certeza que ela está no lugar certo, na hora certa. Na verdade, ela não tem uma pergunta, mas ela gostaria de saber de Deus qual o chamado dela. Então, ela tem uma confusão entre a mensagem e aquilo que ela sente. Yes, but first of all, thank you for just being with us all and choosing to to engage with us this weekend and and being so uh, transparent. Yeah. Yeah. And what you're what you're going through is is we live for this opportunity to to pray together, to join together to connect and hear the spirit. Então, na verdade, nós todos nos vivemos para essa, nós todos vivemos para essa oportunidade de nos unir, de estarmos juntos, de nos conectar e compartilhar o que vem do espírito. And of course, we we do it during the sessions, but we also uh, we have Skype calls and one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling calls too in between the sessions. Então, é claro que nós temos é, essas sessões e nós compartilhamos isso, mas entre as sessões nós temos um, sessões individuais no Skype. And that helps us become clearer, too, about what the practical step is, what is called for uh, when we join together like this. E isso nos ajuda a ter clareza de qual é o nosso próximo passo, aquilo que nós temos que fazer. Um, in this joining, sometimes we have someone from the online retreat that even comes and joins us physically. We just had that uh, recently as well. Então, nessas, nessas nossas reuniões, nós às vezes temos pessoas que vêm e encontram conosco fisicamente. Isso aconteceu. Because it, when you go through such a big shift, sometimes you need your support, mighty companions around you uh, to help clear through those mixed messages that are in the mind. E quando você passa por uma grande mudança, você precisa às vezes do, da ajuda, do suporte dos seus companheiros poderosos para realmente é, limpar essa confusão com relação às mensagens. Yeah. And we ourselves are in such openness and transition right now Uh, there are people that we're working with very closely uh, as far as even coming together with us, uh, coming, coming to where we are. E nós mesmos, na verdade, estamos passando por um momento de grandes mudanças, onde pessoas estão se mudando e vão vir aqui para estar fisicamente onde nós estamos. From some distances, I think we have one Catherine coming from South Africa all the way uh, to, to Utah. Coming up soon. E algumas pessoas distantes, então eu acho que nós temos uma pessoa que vem da África do Sul que vai chegar em breve. Yeah. And so we have too, I think every, we ask everybody to write out their questions and, and situations. So I do remember uh, seeing yours in there too. Um, então nós pedimos para que as pessoas enviem perguntas e eu me lembro de ter visto a sua pergunta. Yeah, but that's that's a good way uh, to start is is to kind of go into some specifics of what is most pressing or what is heaviest on you right now, and then we work from there, kind of to, to go past that, and and then there's always other things that that come behind that. Então é por isso que nós aconselhamos a entrar em especificidades, o que está mais pesado e mais difícil para você agora. E a partir desse ponto, nós vamos nos movendo para ir além disso. Yeah. So if you just want to take a moment, if there's something specifically that's, that's on your heart, we could take a look at that for a moment. Então, este é o momento agora, se você tem algo específico no seu coração. Yes. Nós podemos olhar para essas coisas por um momento. Yes, I think. Um, do you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Very clear. 
Thank you, by the way. Um, I've had uh, two uh, major breakdown in my life, and it's <laughs> I, I I'm kind of ashamed. I guess I'm kind of ashamed of that. It's it's about financial. It's about abundance and money. And and I'm ashamed because um, <laughs> um, I guess I. I, I, I have a spiritual path for the longest time since I was 12 and I, how come my, my financial and situation drains me? Like, like how come, first of all, that I'm, I'm again in that corner where my work and, and it seems that it crumbles and I have so much to give. I've, you know, I, um, I, I, I didn't see it coming. So, um, and I have so much to. I, I feel I have still things to, to give to, to the, the, um, the people that come to me for help for help for for the product that i sell and i and i and i love those women and i love you know that the, what i do and i don't know how how <laughs> how to continue how to expand even how to and and instead in the real life it's it's kind of crumbling Although every time I want to unplug, somebody calls me and, and, and gives me enough um, momentum to continue. Like, like I'm always, it, I cannot just unplug and be in peace, <laughs> be at peace. Uh, um, um, Juliana, you have to take a pause oh for a moment. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Uh, então ela disse que ela teve, I, I took lot, many notes. Deus <laughs> um, Então ela disse que teve dois grandes colapsos e ela tem muita vergonha a respeito disso porque trata-se de da questão da abundância financeira. Então ela disse que já trilha esse caminho espiritual há 12 anos e a pergunta que ela tem é por que essa situação suga tanto ela e ela se sente novamente encurralada e ela sente que na vida dela as coisas se colapsam e ao mesmo tempo ela sente que tem muito para dar é, com relação às pessoas, é, com relação à ajuda, o produto que ela vende, ela diz que ama o que faz, ama as mulheres que são as clientes dela e ela sente essa questão de de continuar, de expandir, mas ao mesmo tempo, toda vez que ela tenta se desconectar para se, para ficar no lugar tranquilo, e algo a chama de volta. I hope I got everything. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's good. good. It all had to come out the way it did. So, I would say, uh, yes, when you seem to have a, a breakdown, Yes. Uh, this is a deep prayer of the heart to be shown a new way, to, to be given a gift from the Spirit. Because our programming is, is to grow up to be a competent, mature, of functioning adults. Porque a nossa programação é para que a gente cresça e seja pessoas funcionais no mundo, competitivo e habilitado. And we're told that that the opposite of that is to be dependent on other people and the government and on handouts. You know, those are are basically our options. 
Então, e não foi, nos foi dito que a outra opção, o outro lado disso, é depender do governo, depender um, de coisas que são dadas, e é isso que nos é dito. But actually, Spirit wants us to become very intuitive so that we unwind from both of those concepts, both of those self-concepts. Então, na verdade, o Espírito nos ajuda a nos desvincular de ambos esses conceitos. Because even if you followed the teachings of the world and you became successful, that doesn't guarantee happiness. Porque mesmo que você segue as regras do mundo e você se torna, de acordo com o mundo, uma pessoa bem-sucedida, isso não garante a felicidade. And we do have a responsibility to be happy. E nós temos uma responsabilidade de sermos felizes. But we have to learn to follow our intuitions and let go of so much responsibility for the body. Mas nós temos que aprender a ouvir a nossa intuição e abandonar tantas responsabilidades que nós temos pelo corpo. Because the body is just a learning device. Porque o corpo é simplesmente um instrumento de aprendizado. Uh, it would be like taking a big long test and, and instead of focusing on the questions or the answers, You focus for two hours on the pencil. <laughs> Como se você fizesse uma prova muito longa e ao invés de se focar nas perguntas e nas respostas, você se focasse no lápis. And then after two hours you go, oh my God, I, I haven't answered any questions. I'm going to get a zero. I was focusing on the pencil <laughs> the whole time. E depois de duas horas, você simplesmente diz, ai ah, meu yeah. Deus, eu estou focada no lápis, eu vou tirar um zero nessa prova. Yeah. So, as you were speaking and just sharing from your heart, we have those here in the room with me that were just feeling your reaching out and, and feeling your calling and connecting in so, so deeply. E conforme você compartilhava, eu e as outras pessoas aqui nessa sala, nós estávamos nos conectando e sentindo a sua tentativa de, de estender a mão. O microfone, você quer falar? Eu estava só assistindo o Michael's face enquanto você estava falando, então eu vou colocar o microfone sobre o Michael's hand. Yeah, just feeling you very strongly, just to come. I was, I couldn't help myself. My, my arm was doing this. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Michael, Michael will be in touch. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, I'll book my plane speak. tickets tonight. <laughs> now, right now. <laughs> Maybe you can give you. Oh, uh, Lex has got your details. Yeah. Okay. Great. Someone needs to pay for it, though, because. <laughs> 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 we can join. It feels beautiful. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, we can't resist that call, you know, it's, it's there when the tickle is in the heart, when you can, you've got the heartstrings being pulled, it's like, uh, we need to follow. Não dá para resistir esse chamado, quando você sente esse, essa coceirinha no coração, você sente como se algumas cordas estivessem puxando você pelo coração, e você não consegue evitar. That's how we all feel, you heard the, the stories earlier, the same for all of us, we can say the same thing. <laughs> E é como você ouviu a história de todos nós, e, e aconteceu com todos nós, nós podemos compartilhar a mesma coisa. The signs become obvious, things aren't working around us. <laughs> então, os sons começam a se tornar óbvios, as coisas começam a deixar de funcionar ao nosso redor. So, and uh, David was saying, it's beautiful to come, when we join it becomes clear what the direction is, what the next steps are, and the timing and everything becomes very obvious. E David uh, disse isso, que toda vez que nós nos unimos, torna-se muito claro aquilo que precisamos fazer, os próximos passos e tudo isso. 
Yeah, we have to we have to even let go of our definitions of what things mean in terms of falling apart. Nós temos que inclusive perder as nossas definições sobre o que significa as coisas simplesmente desabando. When I was growing up, I was always hearing about Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall, crashing. Quando eu estava, quando eu crescia, eu ouvia sempre essa história do Humpty Dumpty que ele desistiu e subia yeah. e caía na parede. Yeah. <laughs> And this is, is part of how the Holy Spirit reconfigures, uh, rearranges our perception. E isso é parte do processo de como o Espírito Santo reconfigura a nossa percepção. Sometimes we've been trying to live up to certain ideals or certain standards and then we judge ourselves a failure when we do not achieve those standards. Muitas vezes nós estamos tentando satisfazer certos padrões, então nós julgamos as nós mesmos como um fracasso quando nós não conseguimos atingir esse padrão que nós mesmos estabelecemos. Uh, to give you an example, You know, I live our community, we have about 35 people. And so we are 35 black sheep. <laughs> All the black sheep who didn't fit in and didn't succeed and didn't make it in the world uh, seem to have found each other and for a new purpose. E todas as ovelhas negras que parecem não terem uh, sido bem sucedidas no mundo, que falharam, parece que elas se uniram com muito propósito. And, and we're just all enjoying being together in this awakening. E todos nós desfrutamos desse simples estar juntos nesse despertar. We all just found out today that Eric was an engineer. None of us... <laughs> None of us knew this. We're all, after 10 years, we're all going, really? <laughs> this happens every day, you know, something new. Acabamos de descobrir que o Eric é um engenheiro. Nós não sabíamos, convivemos com ele há 10 anos e nós não sabíamos. Isso acontece conosco todos os dias. A gente descobre algo de sério. Yeah. So, so that's really... Uh, what this online retreat's about. Anna Carol uh, uh, said it very well. We're just here for each other. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Obrigado. Okay, well, that's it. We've gone through the whole list. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, maybe a song. But I think we'll wrap up this session with a song like we started off with. Então, acho que nós vamos encerrar essa sessão com uma música, assim como nós começamos. <laughs> all, all together now. There. Yeah. <clears throat> What? Yes, you <laughs> always. Everyone can sing along. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, this song is called Touch the Sky, and it was <laughs> written by the band Hillsong. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
But fortune lies beyond the stars Those dazzling heights to rest, to climb I got so high to fall so far But I found heaven's love swept low My heart beating, my soul breathing I found my life when I laid it down Upward falling, spirit soaring I touched the sky when my knees hit the ground Treasure waits within your scars. This gift of freedom gold can't buy. I bought the world and sold my heart. You traded heaven to have me again. My heart beating, my soul breathing. I found my life when I laid it down, upward falling. Spirit soaring, I touched the sky when my knees hit the ground. Find me here at your feet again. Everything I am, reaching out, I surrender. Sweep me up in your love again, and my soul will dance on the wings of forever. Find me here at your feet again. Everything I am, reaching out, I surrender. Come sweep me up in your love again. And my soul will dance on the wings of forever. My heart beating, my soul breathing. I found my life when I laid it down. Upward falling, spirit soaring. I touched the sky when my knees hit the ground. My heart beating, my soul breathing. I found my life when I laid it down Upward falling, spirit soaring I touched the sky when my knees hit the ground I need here at your feet again Everything I am, reaching out I surrender So sweep me up in your love again And my soul will dance on the wings of forever, upward falling, spirit soaring, I touch the sky when my knees hit the ground. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us. This is the way to kick it off. We really kicked it off. Muito obrigada por se unir a nós. Essa é realmente uma maneira de começar muito bem. Realmente começamos muito bem. See you tomorrow. Anyone wants to Skype call too? Yeah. Type chat if you want to Skype. Can you hear that? Yeah, use the chat function and send the chat to Alexa. Beautiful. <laughs>
<laughs> looks like a Christmas card. Like we're all... <laughs> right. Jesus and, and a the tree instead of a green, evergreen. Yes, thank you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto. Hey. <laughs> Going through all your faces. Mm. Yeah. Serena. 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 Serena.